Hi guys! Welcome to my channel and if you are not new here, welcome back. I made a video which I posted like three days ago about Christmas gifts, like ideas you can put on your wish list. And now I'm gonna do a video about Christmas gifts that you can give to your boyfriend. Because I feel like it's such a difficult thing to decide on what to give your boyfriend for Christmas. Usually I feel like, especially my boyfriend, he never really has any wishes. I'm just gonna come up with some ideas. I have my computer here. So I'll read you the list. Okay, we're gonna start off with like self-care stuff. Um, first up is a beard trimmer. If he needs one, I feel like a beard trimmer is such a boring gift, but I feel like it's something that they might get a lot of use of. So buy a beard trimmer if he needs one. Next up is skincare. Some guys are so bad. I feel like most guys are bad at taking care of their skin. So buy him some nice moisturizer or like a cleanser or something like that. So he can be nice and moisturized throughout the winter. Next up is a perfume. I feel like you need to know what kind of guy you're dealing with if you want to buy a perfume for him. But if you know that he has been eyeing out a perfume that he wants to get for himself, get that perfume for him because perfume can be so expensive. So I feel like that's such a good gift idea. Next up is hair gel and that's only if he uses it. Some guys don't and some guys do. If he does, then maybe give him hair gel. That's kind of a boring gift too, but it's an idea. Next up is an electrical toothbrush. <laughs> this is such a boring idea as well, but I feel like most guys don't have a toothbrush. No, I, I would hope that most guys have a toothbrush. What I wanted to say was I feel like most guys get a toothbrush and then they just use it for years and years and years and they never replace it. Get him an electrical toothbrush that he can just switch out the toothbrush heads off. Next up is a toiletry bag. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly but like a toilet bag for like all of his skincare or like a beard trimmer or like whatever. My boyfriend always uses mine and I feel like he should have his own because mine is pink and he doesn't care but I feel like it would be nice if he had his own. And you can get some pretty nice ones out there. You can get like a leather bag or just a plain simple black bag. Next up is pajamas. I don't know if many guys wear pajamas, but my boyfriend put this on his wish list last year. And I feel like that's such a good gift idea. I don't know if he would use it though, but it's nice to have. Especially because I use my pajamas sometimes in the weekends, like throughout the day, if I know I'm not doing anything that day. So yeah, pajamas is a good idea. You can get some pretty good options out there. The next category is like for the both of you. I have been so smart with giving gifts to my boyfriend because I usually gift him something that I can use as well. That might be kind of selfish, but the one person that I give really big gifts to is my boyfriend. And usually I don't like buying gifts in general, but I like giving them, especially to my boyfriend. And I don't mind spending like a good amount of money. If the gift is for the both of you, I feel like you can spend some, some money on it. First up is concert tickets. If you and your boyfriend has an artist that you both like, get him 
tickets to a concert. You can also just buy concert tickets to something you know that he really wants to go to because at the end of the day you'll still be together and you'll make a date out of it. And the next thing is kind of similar to that, like it's just tickets to go watch a football game or a basketball game or something that he really likes to watch. Maybe you can get tickets to watch his favorite team play. That would be such a good gift. And honestly, it doesn't have to be with you. You could just give him two tickets and then he can just decide on whoever he wants to take. And you show him that you care about his interests. Next up is permanent bracelets. I have seen these everywhere since maybe like 2020. I see them on TikTok, I see them on Instagram. I feel like they're so cute. I don't know if I would get them myself because I just really like to be able to take my jewelry off. But I do have a bracelet that I almost never take off. I got this from my parents um, in memory of my little brother. So I never take this off and honestly I never really feel it. Maybe that would be a good idea to get like permanent bracelets and I feel like it's so cute because it's permanent but it's temporary still. It's like it's not a tattoo or anything. I feel like that's such a cute idea. Next up is books. Once he has read the books you can just read them yourself so basically it's a two for one uh, you'll be able to utilize that gift yourself but you can get him some motivational books or like um a self-biography of someone he really likes get him whatever you think he might like next up is bed sheets i feel like this is such a good idea if you're dating someone but you're not living together because when I first met my boyfriend, he had some pretty rough bed sheets because he just didn't really care. And I feel like that's such a generic guy thing, especially if they're living on their own. Get him bed sheets because he probably wouldn't buy it himself. So I feel like that's such a good gift and it's a gift for you as well because you have to sleep over and you'll be able to do that comfortably. Next up is just like home stuff, things he can put in his home or your home together. Next up is Lego and I'm not just talking like Lego that you play with, I'm talking about the really expensive Lego pieces that you can build and put somewhere in your home. Like there's this big Eiffel Tower, there's like a Porsche car. I feel like they're so cute but they're kind of expensive too so maybe he would be interested, maybe not. If not, don't spend your money on it. You could also get him like Lego flowers for his home because maybe he's not really interested in keeping flowers. Yeah, maybe that might be a good idea. Next up is headphones for his gaming device. It can be an Xbox or a PlayStation or I, I don't know any more than that, but get him some really good headphones. I got my boyfriend these ones last year um, and he has been using these ever since he got them. So I feel like they must be pretty good because he always uses them and yeah. And they keep up really well, like you can't see damage or anything on these, so. And I don't remember what the price point was, but I think I only bought him this gift. Like I don't think I bought him anything else that year. So maybe they were pretty expensive, I don't know. But it doesn't have to be from PlayStation itself. You can just get him regular headphones. But make sure it has a microphone. This one has a microphone built in it. So he can game with his friends and he can talk with his friends while he's gaming. Next up is games for Xbox or PlayStation or whatever Nintendo Switch. They can be pretty expensive too. Make sure you get one that he doesn't already have. Maybe you can just 
ask him if there are any games that he would like to get. Next up is wine glasses. This is only for the wine enthusiasts, like the sommelier, but I feel like this is a really good gift and I have been considering buying this gift to my boyfriend because yeah, nice wine glasses are just always great and you can use them for yourself as well. Next up is a decanter. This is also for the wine enthusiast. If you're on a tight budget, you won't prioritize buying really expensive wine. So a decanter might help with that. So buy him a decanter if he needs it and if he is interested in wine. Next up is a travel mug. I feel like this is such a good gift. I guess it's just so useful and really nice to have. Find a really good travel mug. You can find one like literally anywhere. It's just so nice to have when you wake up in the morning and you make your coffee and you can bring it with you. Next up is good knives. I mentioned this in my last video as well. If your boyfriend is really into cooking, you can get him knives. It's kind of an expensive gift, but maybe he's already building a collection. So you can just buy him that one knife or like a knife every once a year. Um, and then he'll be able to build that collection. Next up is a really nice pillow. I feel like this is a good gift for anybody, but I feel like that's such a good gift to give to someone because it really shows that you care. A good, nice pillow. Next up is a leather apron. And it doesn't have to be leather, but just a nice apron if he likes to cook. Okay, so now we're moving on to the wardrobe things. And it's really simple. I don't think you should go out and just buy whatever you think looks nice because Chances are he might not think the same thing. So buy something really simple. And the first thing is a really simple t-shirt. It can just be like a plain white t-shirt, but get it in like good quality. Yeah, just a good, nice, plain t-shirt. Next up is sneakers. If he's into sneakers, you have probably heard about some sneakers before that he really likes get him those or just find something that kind of looks like the sneakers he already has but maybe in a different color or maybe just a newer version if his shoes are really worn out next up is underwear i feel like you can always use new underwear um so yeah that's just a really simple gift but kind of boring and the next one is even more boring and that's just socks i feel like you can always use more socks but plain white socks maybe from nike it's always useful but it's a really boring gift maybe give this to him if you haven't been dating for that long it can be kind of difficult to navigate in the dating life what you should buy for a new boyfriend, so maybe just get him something simple. You don't have to go overboard. Just buy him something simple because he's probably gonna buy you something really simple as well. Don't make him feel like you put so much thought and effort into buying his gift and then he's just left with buying you yeah, I don't know, something really simple and he'll just feel bad. If you have been dating for a long time, maybe buy him something more personal. But I hope you got some inspiration and some ideas from this list and this video. Um, I'm gonna wish you all the luck uh, that you can get with buying a gift for your boyfriend. It's a lovely time, but it is difficult to buy gifts. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm so happy that you are watching and thank you so much for that. I hope you all have a wonderful Christmas time and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!